Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax. And while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Oh, isn't this a wonderful night for sitting home by the fire? Anything you want, David, before I settle down? Nope, not a thing. As soon as I light my pipe, I'm settled fine. It's certainly easy to please, darling. Oh, it's lovely, just the two of us. So cheap, too. Mm, What's so cheap? What? No, an evening at home. No. I like it better than any other evening in the world. You do, huh? All for nothing. Except for the initial investment and upkeep. Yeah, well, cheaper is why you like it better. Of course. As a matter of fact, that reminds me. There is something I want. Oh, here I am. Not you, dope. The Sears Robot Catalog. Oh. oh. You hand it over to me? What for? What do you think for? I don't know. What for? To look up a telephone number. What for? Are you really going to buy something? I told you I'm going to look up a telephone number. What are you going to buy? Go on. Tell me what you're going to buy. Questions, 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 all the time questions. Do they sell questions in the Sears Robot Catalog? Mm-hmm. In stainless steel. Well, I have heard they sell everything. Here's your beloved catalog. Mm, thank Say, you. what are you going to buy? You'll see. Now, if you want to look in the Sears Roebuck catalog with me, I, I don't mind. Oh, that's sweet. It's all right. Well, sit on the sofa so I don't have to breathe down your neck. Well, well, you're getting trained. Mm. Now, there. I'll tear out the order blank from the back of the book. You got a pencil? I bet you anything, it's something for the barn. What is? What you're buying, of course, is it? Mm, no. You're so bright. David, I don't want compliments. I want a yes or no. Page eleven oh six. Let's see for yourself. Well? Mm, well, all they're selling on page eleven oh six are worm killers and low cost pest control. Pest control. You don't have worms or pests, do we? Well, I don't have worms. Very funny. Very funny. Seriously, what are you buying this stuff for? I'm not buying this stuff. See up here, right there. Farm Master Hog Mineral Feeder. What on earth is that? It's a four-door feeder that saves time, labor, and feed. We haven't got four hogs. No, we will have. We will? First place, Ruby's going to give us another litter. Well, you certainly can't call little piglets hogs. No, but they will be someday. In the second place, I'm seriously thinking of getting a few more hogs. Matthew Warren is wanting to get rid of some. Hey, we're really going into business, aren't we? Selling mm-hmm. milk, selling hogs. That's what you want, isn't it? Very much what we want, David. This, this, this farm master, hog master feeder, what you might call it, it certainly looks like an efficient contraption. It is that. Only twenty three fifty. Only. Made of air-seasoned lumber. The opening is strong masonite pressed wood. It holds salt, grain, and protein supplement. Ten bushels. Mm. Beautiful, isn't it? Stunning mm-hmm. for a hog feeder. Are you filling out the mail order blank? Oh. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, number 3-2-L-M-5-9-0-9-F. Right. F. F. Right. Here we are. No, I'll have to make out a check. Well, is that all you're going to buy? Yeah, yeah. It's all Fritz and I discuss. David, I think it seems silly to send for just one thing. Oh, you do. I huh? mean... While we're putting a stamp on the envelope, we might as well put more in the envelope. In other words, there's uh, there's something that you want to buy, too. Well, I... Well, go on, go on, say it. Don't well, be shy. Well, it's just, just a few little things. Oh, just a few I've, I've been there. meaning to buy them. This is a perfect opportunity. Oh, I see. Save me making a trip to the village. Mm-hmm. Or a stamp. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, now, first we need another fixture for the bathroom mirror. The That's shade is one. loose on the one we have. And oh, David, can loose. you find the page for lighting fixtures? Lighting fixtures, mm-hmm. page 8. Two seventy seven. Eight seventy seven. There you are. Oh, look, there's a nice one. See that one? Dollar sixty nine. Very handsome. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now, we'll put on the bathroom mirror light fixture. Put down six... bathroom mirror light fixture right. one sixty nine. Now, yeah. let me see, let me see. Let me well, while you're thinking, Fritz did mention he could use another milk can. Milk can. Mm-hmm. Milk can, milk can. Now, let me see. That's funny. No I can't can, find it. No can, no can, no can, no can, no can. Here it is, two sixty-one, two dollars sixty-one cents, right there. You're looking right at it. Oh, 
I told you I could find it. <laughs> you did. <laughs> oh, yes, I know what else I need. A pair yeah. of scissors. I have to pair have the pair scissors. we have sharpened. David, I don't think the whole house should depend on one pair of scissors, do you? It all depends on how many things you have to cut. Oh, we cut all the time. Oh, we do. Here's a nice pair. A dollar. Oh, wait a minute. Dollar ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. Right. Well, that's cheap. Cheap. My gosh, everything is just amazingly cheap, isn't it, David? Mm-hmm. Particularly since it'll only cost us a three-cent stamp. Yeah, no, particularly. Oh, now I remember something else I need desperately. I'll bet it's desperate. Yes, I need new kitchen edging. Kitchen edging? Mm, stuff that goes around the shelf. Oh, well, that must be desperate. It is. Stuff we have is all sort of frazzled. Frazzled. David, I don't think you realize how important a woman's kitchen is to a woman. Maybe not, but I, I still wouldn't want yours to be frazzled. Thank you. Oh, it's all Very right. Hey, this is stunning edging. Plastic, washable, lasts a long time. How long's a long time? It's just what we need. Ten cents a yard, too. Mm-hmm. Ten cents. How, ma- how many yards do you want? How many yards? Mm. How many yards? Well, let me see. Ten cents isn't much. No, don't you lose your head. Use it. How many yards did you buy the last time? Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen yards? Yeah. You planning to hang yourself with this plastic edging? Of course not. I'm just going to hang the kitchen in it. Oh, I see. David, listen, at ten cents a yard. Ten cents times a fifteen. Mm. Hurry up, work five, it out. Dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. I'm not well, arguing with the price. If you need it, you need it, that's all. You're a wonderful husband, you know it. Mm-hmm. Here, write this down on the blank. Always changing the subject. Pliers. Oh, how much for pliers? Tell you right away. Pliers, page uh, 921, 921, 921. Oh, here we are. There's one at $1.59 and one at one fifty-five. Oh. Well, buy the one fifty-nine one. Why? It's more expensive. It must be better. That is a fallacy that the female brain indulges in. Well, then why isn't it better? Well, maybe it's different. It's the same to me, except it's four cents more expensive. Oh, David, go on. Blow yourself. Buy the better one. The one dollar and fifty-five cent one is good enough You're for always me. the one who wants me to spend money, but for yourself, no. Take the dollar fifty-nine. No, not anything else yes. you can think of you want. We can't spend all night on this. Why not? I think it's fun. Let me see. Now, let me see. Oh, I was just going to go shopping with the baby. There are very cute things for children in the catalog. Mm-hmm. Oh, now let me see. Children, children. Oh, David, wouldn't he look adorable in that? In what? Soft cotton knit creepers. Soft Two cotton bu- knit creepers. <laughs> Two button Two shoulder open. Two button shoulder open. Comes in blue. Isn't it adorable? Oh, it's just darling. Nice. <laughs> darling, that little suit is for a mere baby. Well, well, after all, Bobby's over seven months old. You can't keep dressing him up as a baby. It says here sizes to 18 well, months. Well, look at the picture of this little boy. He's nothing but a baby. Standing up, which is more than Bobby can well, do. Well, Bobby will be running all over the place any day Only now. just creeping face I to face. I won't back. have my son dressed in baby baby clothes. Well, then I'll just buy him only one of these suits. And I promise the minute you come into his room, I will change him into a gray flannel double-breasted suit. Mm-hmm. And split his personality in the bargain. Oh, no. I guess that's all I really need. How about you? I can't think of anything else. Well, then add it up and we'll write out the check. Add it up. Thirty-three eighty-one. Thirty-three eighty-one. Thirty-three eighty-one. What did you say? Thirty-three eighty-one. Oh, thirty-three eighty-one. 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 Certainly not going to spend any one fifty on plastic edging. What we have in our kitchen is is good enough. It's frazzled. Dollar fifty. I never heard of such a thing. Go on, David. Subtract a dollar fifty. All right. One fifty from thirty-three to thirty-two thirty-one. My goodness, you subtract so fast. How do you do it? That's still an awful lot of money, Dick. Money certainly flies. Well, what's that two sixty-one for? The milk can. Fritz really needs another milk can? Well, not today or tomorrow, well, but one of these... let's wait till the day after. What do you think? Might as well, since it's not so urgent. Mm. 261, subtract it. Uh, 261, 2970. 2970? Mm-hmm. We're mm-hmm. practically not buying anything at all. It's exorbitant. What's that dollar sixty nine? Dollar sixty nine. that's a light fixture. Well, the old one can do. It's only cracked, only it's cracked. not broken. Wait, wait, it falls off the wall. $29.70. Who do they think we are? Who's who think we are? The catalog people. They oh. think we're made of money. Subtract a dollar sixty-nine. Dollar sixty-nine. Twenty-eight oh one. 
Well, that's still too much money. You know, actually, I, I don't see why a house can't get along on one pair of scissors. Well, who said Do a you? house couldn't? Well, this one can. I'll just have the old one sharpened. That'll do just fine, thank you. You're welcome. All right. That's, uh, 2603. And what's that $1.55 there? Chop off the pliers. You don't really need pliers, do you? No, you have no, a pair. No, no, I have a well, pair. if I don't need a second scissors, you don't need a second pliers. And five five seconds ago, I was the expensive one. Let's see, that's a dollar fifty five, fifty, and I clear uh, twenty four ninety. Twenty four ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine. You know that would buy the groceries for a whole week. Twenty four ninety nine. David, these times a person just can't afford to throw money around. Who's throwing money around? Remember, it? someday we'll have to put Bobby through college. Then how about not dressing him in baby clothes anymore? If he's going to be a college man, he can't go around in pink and blue and be baby runners. I mean, run around in <laughs> baby creepers anymore. I don't think you love your son. Well, let's well see. I couldn't that's agree with you. I all right, admit. all right. At least twenty three fifty. What on earth is twenty three fifty for? The hog feeder. Darling, we only have Ruby. I explained to you that we're going to have more. David, twenty three fifty. Think feel it of coming. all the things you could buy with twenty three fifty. I'm thinking, that's right, and I want to buy this hog feeder for twenty three fifty. But then we'll have to get the hogs to keep the here feeder we go, busy. Here we go. And with the money we've spent tonight, mm-hmm. we all can't right. afford it. All them. right, you win. No hog feeder. Good. Now we're not buying anything. So that saves us thirty three dollars and eighty one cents. It's not a bad saving for one evening. Claudia. Hmm? It isn't any saving. Of course it is, David. Here's the check. No. Here's Robux. Yeah, Claudia, Thirty-three don't. dollars and eighty-one cents. Now Claudia. it's ours to deposit in the bank. Don't you feel rich? No. Now, Claudia, try work. Try to understand. That money. Oh, now, darling, don't make it complicated. Oh, There's nothing Claudia. to understand. I knew staying home was cheap, but I certainly didn't realize we'd be thirty-three dollars and eighty-one cents richer than we were fifteen minutes ago. Well, we're not. David, we are. It's obvious. Oh, it's obvious. Now, my only problem is, what shall I buy you with it? Buy me. After all, thirty-three eighty-one doesn't grow on trees. Well, that one did. Darling, what would you like with this money that we couldn't have afforded otherwise? You can catch a favorite radio show on the wing, as it were. Or you can make an occasion of listening. Ask a few friends in, serve ice-cold Coke, and build a real party around the program. But whether you listen alone, with the family, or with guests, ice-cold Coca-Cola can always be counted on to help you listen refreshed. Joe, I think I'm losing my mind. Money not spent is not money saved, is it? Why, uh, yes, in a way it is. Oh, you and Claudia, you're in cahoots. (laughs) No, you forget, David, I'm a married man, longer than you. Uh, my thinking's all mixed up. I can understand that. Well, I think I'll go to bed before Claudia spends any more that she hasn't saved. Uh, first, a word of advice. A word of advice? Uh, make What's a that? mental note to remind yourself to buy a collar button tomorrow. A collar button? Why, I, I have a collar button. Well, have another. You won't be sorry at all that you did. All right. All right. I'll take your advice and do it. I'll try to remember. So long, Joe. Bye, David. Every day, Monday through Friday... Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola.